I want to apologize real quick. Um, apparently, when I did this last time, I didn't save the audio, so I have to do this all over again. Hopefully, it won't take too long. Anyway, it all started with Lugia telepathically communicating with Ash in the second episode of Pokemon 2019, the series. Or, as the double call it, Pokemon Journeys. I'm still going to stick with Pokemon 2019 because I'm not sure I care about renaming it to Pokemon Journeys. But anyway, Lugia communicated with Ash. Then in the 10th episode, Ash notices that Dragonair is upset, being easily picked up by Ash more so than Go. Go just was interested in the Pokemon themselves, but not really their feelings or anything. Then in the 12th episode, Ash senses a Pokemon in the clouds, which turned out to be Eternatus. Then the multitude of episodes where Ash describes how he feels about how it feels to battle as one with Pikachu. You know, the Bazoom, the Bazinga, or whatever he said. <laughs> and then most recently, of course, Ash's aura connection with his real Lou when it was in the egg. And in previous generations, look no further than, say, Ash's Pikachu versus Tapu Koko in the exposition match. You know, when they're like stopping time and communicating before they give it all, give it their all. Or even before 7th generation, we had something with Ash Greninja. Is this potentially leading to a special awakening inside Ash, where Ash might develop a minor superhuman ability? Superhuman abilities have already been shown in the anime. Examples include Sabrina, the psychic-type gym leader of Kanto, and more recently than that, which was in first generation, is in third generation, we had Annabelle, the salon maiden of the Battle of Trower of the Battle Frontier. Sabrina, of course, was a more extreme example of superhuman abilities. Now, let me be perfectly clear. I'm not suggesting Ash become a full-fledged, overpowered psychic. But I do think it'd be interesting if Ash just had an edge in battles for his Pokemon. This would also explain why Ash is getting really good at Pokemon battling and why he'd be able to take on Cynthia at some point and defeat her, for example. What I would like to see in this series is Ash going through some sort of awakening that allows him to be more sensitive in Pokemon battles. That's key. I don't want a super powerful superhuman Ash, okay? I don't want the equivalent of Ash using Aura Sphere like he did in the Lucario movie. May not have been Orosphere, but it sure looked like it. I just want Ash to be more sensitive and perceptive and turn in that into Ash's greatest strength, which could in turn allow him to become the very best like no one ever was. We've seen we've sort of seen examples of Ash being perceptive when fighting, when Ash would suddenly notice something about the battlefield or perhaps the characteristics of a Pokemon move that Ash would then take advantage of. But a lot of it was just what you would expect from a normally skilled trainer. But I do want Ash to have a much bigger edge in battle than just the occasional perceptive moments that he gets. What I'm suggesting is that Ash be extremely in tune and sensitive in a Pokemon battle. I would like him to hone this new ability to detect minor fluctuations of a battle that he, in turn, can use to his advantage. Being able to sense the rhythm that his opponent and his opponent's Pokemon possess and figuring out a way to knock them off balance or out of rhythm or being able to sense and see the strengths and weaknesses of the Pokemon fighting in a more amplified manner. For example, maybe have Ash pick up on Metagross where one of its legs is not durable and throwing it off balance would give Ash an edge over it. Ash has done similar things before, like with Tyson's Metagross and attacking it in its weak part over and over and over again until ultimately Pikachu was able to defeat it. Or like with Bertha knowing what to expect of Bertha's hip out on and at least getting a good hit with Torterra's Leaf Storm before Bertha was like, oh, you figured out my strategy, time to quickly adapt. You know, that was like the whole point of that particular episode was for Ash to observe. I want something like that, but a bit more evolved and a lot more advanced. Again, I don't want Ash to be overpowered necessarily. He doesn't need to have access to all information that would be available to someone sensitive. But I do think if Ash is going to beat someone like Cynthia, for example, as I've said, or even Leon, I think Ash will need an advantage other than pure plot convenience of, well, Ash is definitely strong enough now 
because we willed it to happen because we're writers and we typed it in a Word document that said Ash will beat Leon. I I just want something a little bit more than that. And it could be something to grow Ash's character even further. Maybe this could help his goal of becoming a Pokemon Master. So, of course, the question is, will this actually happen in the anime? I don't know. We are getting the sense that, for Go at least, he's more of a scientific mind when it comes to Pokemon. Like, for example, in the third episode with the Ivysaur, um, it's like he was saying um, that Ivysaur wouldn't want to be helped because it'll be weak and it won't do what it needs to do in regards to that. And that was the conflict between Ash and Ivysaur. Ash picked up on the feelings of defeat from Ivysaur while Go is like it needs to learn that stuff on its own. However, that's Go while Ash is more about the emotional mental connection with the Pokemon as I was saying. I think they can evolve it further and give Ash a more distinctive, unique superhuman ability and one where it's where he's not overpowered, you know, because maybe in some case he needs to really rely on his Pokemon, win or lose, because he can't see everything, and even if he sees something, he can't really do anything about it. But it does give him the information that he that he needs to do better in Pokemon battles, for example. It's something I feel Ash needs to give him a much bigger boost. And with Ash having Riolu on the team, in which an Aura Guardian probably would have similar abilities to what I'm describing here, potentially, it does make some sense. Or maybe at the very least, Ash can connect to each and one of his Pokemon on a deep level, like, say, Ash Greninja, without the form change, of course, but maybe a slight boost in power, maybe not like Mega Evolution without Mega Evolution power, but maybe a little bit stronger, a little bit faster, you know, or more durable, defensive, you know, something like that. Regardless of what happens actually in the show, I would at least like there to be a very noticeable moments of how Ash is progressing in a way that's realistic other than Ash's Articuno used Ice Beam on Cynthia's Garchomp as a last-ditch effort and has won. Garchomp is down! Ash has beaten Cynthia! Oh my goodness, who would have thought? I want to actually believe Ash can defeat Cynthia, and the biggest way is to make him sensitive in the sense of giving him minor superhuman abilities that push him into being the best that he will eventually be, or will always will be. But, that's just my take. What do you think of this? Do you think Ash should get a minor superhuman edge in battles, or maybe he'll be fine with Ash barely defeating Cynthia or Leon, even though the anime established how strong these characters are, and suddenly Ash being strong enough is acceptable to you. More of a about damn time Ash is this strong kind of mentality. That's fair. I anything you have, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Have any questions or would like to discuss anything in greater detail, the comment section is where you need to head to so we can have discussions about this. And as such, this wraps up this particular video. Not sure what I'm going to do in the next video. Maybe a while I, I'm glad I wrote this in the script, even though I already had other things going on. But I have to re-record re this audio because I lost it somehow. So I think the next episode, or the next video I'm going to do, may be a lot longer for me to do or to come up with is probably in reference to why the Gallard League cannot coexist with the Pokemon World Championships in the anime, because it's just confusing. Maybe that'll be in the next video, but we'll just have to see. And on, on top of that, this video might be uploaded before another video or something, but we'll just have to wait and see. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.